Hello and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can create this beautiful watermelon text effect in a Adobe Illustrator. So first I'll remove everything from the artboard. Then I'll go to layers and select my background layer. Then go to toolbar, select rectangle tool. Click on the artboard and draw a rectangle 1800 pixel by 1000 pixel. Then click OK. Let's enter this to the artboard. And apply a gradient off. This one, choose this color for gradient. Then I'll go to layers and lock my background layer. Select text effect layer and let's type our text. The font I'm using for this text effect is Springwood and the font size will be 500 point. Let's enter this to the artboard. After that, click on this none to remove the fill color. Then go to appearance panel, click on add new fill and then go to gradient. Let's apply a default black and white gradient. Change angle to 90. Double click on this black point and change colors like this. Add a point almost in center. And change colors to this and then change color of this point let's adjust this gradient After that, go to appearance panel, duplicate this layer and now select this second layer Then go to effect, distort and transform and transform In move values, put all these values and then click OK Then go to gradient and change the colors For this 3D layer, I'm using these three colors. I'm using these three colors. Okay. After that, select this first layer, duplicate this, change the color to black, and move this layer like this. And click OK. Drag this layer to bottom, and again duplicate this. Now hide this layer. We'll use this layer later for a drop shadow. Now select this layer and go to gradient and apply the gradient. Change the angle to 90 and change the colors of this layer. I'll use these three colors for this layer. Okay, after that go to appearance panel, then go to effect, path and offset path and let's increase the offset path. Apply these values and then click OK. We have applied the 25 pixel offset path. After that duplicate this layer, select this last layer and go to effect start and transform and transform click on add new fill and in move values apply these values and then click ok then go to effect stylize and inner glow select the black color click ok opacity of 30 percent blur of 30 percent 30 percent then click ok now select this layer Go to effect, stylize and inner glow. Select the white color. Change the blend mode to screen. Change the blur to 8. And opacity to 
15 percent let's increase the blur and decrease the opacity to 10 percent and then click ok now select this first layer and duplicate this change the color to black and go to effect artistic and then plastic wrap then click ok you can play with these values then click ok now change the blend mode of this layer to screen again duplicate this layer now select this second layer change the color to white and go to effect distort and transform and transform and in move values then click ok now select this layer duplicate this change the color to black And in transform in move values let's drag this layer to bottom and we'll use this layer for drop shadow go to effect blur and Gaussian blur and click OK now unhide this layer and go to effect blur and Gaussian blur and click OK you can play with drop shadow settings so you can get a nice smooth drop shadow so here is the final text effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching